Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone that's new here, my name's Sheldon at the McRae Home and my channel is All Things Interior. Um, and today I've got such an exciting video. So for all you guys that know me, and if you don't know me, you should know me, but follow me on Instagram. <laughs> no, but for um, anyone that knows me, knows how madly in love and how much life coffee table books give me and I think it's something that a lot of people um, I've got a lot of questions on or people might not necessarily buy because they don't think it's important but it just takes your room from being somewhat okay to amazing and it's things that can fill lots of different spaces they don't have to be mega expensive there is some coffee table books out there that are really inexpensive and I am going to show you some of them today there is some that are a little bit more on the pricey side too but um, I think sometimes it is a really good investment to make. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you my favourite ones and I'll show you some little clips um, of how I've actually got these books styled around my home as well. So first book that I'm going to show you today is this stunning Alexander McQueen book. So I'm not going to talk to you about the ins and outs of the book of what's in it but I just want to talk about the actual styling of it and how you can style these books. So this book here, I don't know if you can see that pattern, how stunning it is like this sort of snake print that it's got going on it um, and then it's got the Alexander McQueen down the spine and then it's got like this copper gold writing on there as well. I don't know if you can see that, how stunning. This is quite a big book as well um, which, oh my god, so quite dark. Um, I would say it's like a deep charcoal grey, um, but it is just phenomenal. Phenomenal and really easy for styling. In, in comparison to coffee table books, when I bought this, I got this in the sale, so it was quite inexpensive. Um, I'll pop a link below as well just to see them um, and I'll let you know what price it is. Um, so just check the description and you can see what it is at the minute. But um, stunning, stunning, stunning book. The next book that I'm going to show you was probably one of the first coffee table books that I bought and I've had ever since and I've had styled ever since and just now it's currently styled in my closet but this is the Vanity Fair. Oh, a hundred years. It, look at the size of that. I am just living for this. So again, quite dark. You'll notice a lot of my, my books are quite dark, however just amazing. It is amazing and again if you have a look at the spine of it it's got the the detailing down the spine and then on the front and because it's so big you can layer it so I normally have this one and then actually on top of it I've got the Alexander McQueen one that I've just shown you um, and then potentially a candle or you can put anything on top of it maybe some coral depending on how you want to style it but this book is definitely a winner in my eyes. Like I say, one of the first books, coffee table books that I bought, um, and it grew my passion and love for books. So yeah, check this one out. Again, I'll put this in the description box for you if you are interested, um, and I'll show you some clips of how I've styled this one. But yeah. Next one that I'm gonna show you is this Marc Jacobs one. So um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that properly, but it's, it's like a fabric. Um, and it is in this really light grey colour, like a silvery grey, really, really pretty. I managed to get this um, again when it was in the sale. I'll tend to the ones that I really want because these ones are quite expensive. Um, I think, I can't admit, I think I paid about £30 for it, maybe £35, but normally I think it's sitting up at the £60 mark um, on normal retail. I'll pop a link before, fingers crossed. Um, it's in a little bit of a sale, but it's actually embossed as well, so you can feel the writing. Really, really stunning, stunning, stunning book. Um, and I've got this currently uh, situated in my closet as well, on another shelf, with a gorgeous candle on top of it. So, yeah, absolutely stunning. And if you look at the spine of this one, it's got the white detailing um, down it, as opposed to all grey, and then it's got the grey outline. But really, really, really pretty. Um, Really love this book. Yeah. Winner. The next one that I'm going to do, this one actually wasn't going to be part of this video and I'll, I'll tell you the reason why. So today's actually my birthday. Yay! And one of my closest friends dropped me off 
um, a present and it was part of it and it's something that's been on my little tick list to get hold of um, and I've not managed to get round to getting it yet and she bought me it and I love it. I've not even had a chance to read through this one yet but this one here Look, look, look! Oh my god, this is the White Company's book. You know, I had a quick flick through, I've not read anything yet, but I don't know if you can see any of the images, etc. and that, but oh my god. It is right up my street in terms of decor. Beautiful book. Beautiful. Um, so like I say, this one was very impromptu because I literally just picked, got it, dropped off to me about an hour ago, so... I'm so happy with that. I've not styled this anywhere yet, but I will find somewhere I think I might put it on my little side table in here if it fits. But yes, how stunning is that? Oh, so, uh, I'll pop up a little link below. Obviously, I don't know the price of this because it was a gift, but it'll be in the description. So if you, if you are looking for a gorgeous white, I am going more for white books now, um, which I'll explain a little bit when I show you my next lot. But um, yes, I am over, over, over the moon with that. But the next book that I'm going to show you is a classic. And again, this was one of my purchases that I bought when I started getting obsessed with coffee table books. So it is the classic Chanel. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with this book. Um, it is an absolute classic. It is just stunning uh, and very inexpensive as well for Chanel. I think normally when I look at the price of this, it's got £28 on the back, but I definitely didn't pay that for it. I think I paid £20 for it. Um, and I, I do always see it, a lot of people ask me for the links to this over on my Instagram, so I share it quite a lot. I think last time I shared it, it was £21 or £20, so really inexpensive for Chanel. And again, the actual um, spine of the book is white, and it's got the Chanel running down the side of it too. So I've got this styled on this um, sideboard behind me, and then I've got another book that I'll show you in a second that I laid it with, um, and then I've got a gorgeous plant on top of it. So um, for me, Classic, stunning, it'll go with any interior, really inexpensive for Chanel, so yes, always a winner. The next one that I'm going to show you, I have had styled in loads of different ways, but just now this is the other one that is styled on top of my Chanel book. So this is the Kelly Hoffman book and it is amazing so just now i've got, currently got it styled like this because as you can see the actual spine of it is very similar to the chanel one so when i've got them stu uh, stacked on top of each other with a plant on top stunning stunning so really like if you look at the the actual front of the book as well it's very in line with my interiors the colors yes um but what i loved about this book as well is some of the interior. So I've had this styled on my coffee table um, and I'm just looking it down now. So look at that. How gorgeous is that? So I had this book lying open on this page um, on my coffee table. So I just literally had it lay flat for open just because it fit my style perfect. So that's another idea for you as well. So it depends on your interior. You can sort of just open it on a page um, and just throw something on top of it and it looks amazing. But this is an absolutely stunning book inside. So this is one that I've actually gone through when I want inspiration from my rooms and I'll always go back to it. So I'll head through and have a little look. So yes, this one I, um, normally this is not that expensive again. Sometimes it'll appear in the sale. So um, yeah, just gorgeous. Love it. Stunning. So the next coffee table book I have is this. It's quite a small book, but very stylish. So this is the Elements of Style. And if you can see there, and what I love most about this book is that spine. Look at that spine. Isn't that just so stunning? Um, so it says the Elements of Style running down and it's got this monochrome vibes going on with the black and white. Um, and it is gorgeous inside as well. So you've got lots of different prints in here. And just really stunning. Um, and really inexpensive. I think sometimes you can get this book for under £20. Um, and I'll, I'm constantly having a look at it. Really, really popular one on Instagram. You'll see this on a lot of Instagram pages, on the coffee tables, um, on sideboards, on shelves, all that good stuff. And I like this because it is quite small. Most of my books are quite big. So obviously when I'm layering, I need to have smaller books that I can pop on top of the larger ones. And it's perfect and the cup, the spine just sold it to me. As soon as I seen that spine, I was like, I need this book. So yes, nice little inexpensive one, um, but absolutely gorgeous. 
you know me, you will know um, that I have just recently had a crazy obsession with this next collection of books. Um, I talk about it a lot over on Instagram. It is just the thing that I just think it just fits with this style perfect. And I've got these books styled on this sideboard. So this is the Kinfolk collection. So this is the home book. So how stunning is that? Oh my God, it is just so chic. I love it. Um, I think that's going to focus on me. Let me try and hide my face. But look at that. How chic is this? Really incredible, just for me. I think this is up there. This particular one, I would probably say is my second favorite coffee table book and I'll show you what's my favorite in a little minute. But um, yeah, I love it. And so I've all got, I got all three of the collection. So how amazing are these? And actually, um, I got this one as a gift for my birthday. So I've got all three of them now. And I literally have got them styled, just lay down flat. But I've also got the spines facing this way on this sideboard. I'll show you some inserts. So for me, having all three of them, I think these normally retail about £30 per book, maybe 25 to £30 a book. But, oh my God, oh my God, I love them. And my last one that I'm going to show you, I would probably say is my favourite. It's probably the most expensive one that I've got. It's a classic and you will have seen it in a lot of people's homes because it is just stunning. But it has got to be the classic Tom Ford book. This book, it's in an actual box. I don't know if anybody, if you've ever seen it before, but it actually comes in a hard box. So um, that's hard, and then this is the actual book, which again, it's just massive, it's so big, and it's actually really heavy. Um, but this is just an absolute classic piece. This is a piece that you can have on your coffee table, you can have it on some shelving, you can have it on sideboards, you can have it anywhere, and because it's so big, it is just a statement piece. So for me, this is my favourite. Um, it's probably the most expensive book that I've got as well. I think it normally retails, I think it's about 60 or 70 pound. Sometimes it will get into sale. I think I've seen it as little as 50 before. Um, so I'll pop a little link down if you are interested in it. But even though it's quite a lot of money, it is a massive investment because this is something I'll have forever. This will never go out of style, ever. This will never, ever, ever go out of style and it just looks amazing so yes it may it may be a little bit of money to buy it in the first place but for me i think with stuff like coffee table books once you buy them you have them forever they don't go out of style and sometimes you might go and spend 20 or 30 pound on an ornament that will go out of style in six to 12 months and you'll end up changing it whereas books you can always rely on books i guess it's just the color making sure that if you notice my books are normally like black or white um, and grey because I feel like that's quite classic and stylish so um, all most of them are black and white and then I've got the Marc Jacobs one that is the grey. There you have it guys that is my take on my favourite coffee table books at the minute I know there's quite a few in there but it is because I have some crazy obsession with coffee table books and ever since I bought that first one that was it um, so yes I hope you like it for me um, you can never have too many and I'll constantly buy them and I'll constantly buy them and I'll constantly buy them. Um, but if you get any questions on anyone, pop them in the question box and I will get back to everyone. Um, I hope you like this. If there is anything in this video that you liked, I will link it below um, and you can head over and buy it if you are interested. But I will be back with some videos. I put up a poll on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and asked whether you would want to see videos on a Sunday and a Wednesday or a Monday and a Thursday and Sunday and Wednesday won by quite a large um, percentage. So I'm going to be uploading every Sunday and every Wednesday and it'll all be all things interior um, and just lifestyle. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you are new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my little YouTube family. Um, and I will catch you in my next video. Love you, bye. Mwah. About to leave, already packing. Come with me.